King Ethelbert's marriage to St. Bertha connected the two royal courts of the Franks and the Saxons, although not as equals. The Franks would have thought of King Ethelbert as an underking, but the marriage would have forged useful bonds between the kingdoms. King Ethelbert permitted his new wife St. Bertha to practice the Christian faith when she took up residence within his palace. So it was that St. Bertha arrived in Kent with the Catholic Bishop Ludhard as her private confessor. King Ethelbert was immediately struck by St. Bertha's disposition and with her he restored a Catholic church in Canterbury which dated from Roman times and the bishop dedicated it to St. Martin of Tours. It became St. Bertha's private chapel where Bishop Ludhard offered daily the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. In the chapel, St. Bertha spent time in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament and gave a good example of holiness, simplicity and devotion to her pagan husband with whom she had a good relationship. It was about that time that Pope St. Gregory the Great decided to send a group of missionaries to England to preach the gospel to the English people. The native Britons had converted to Christianity under Roman rule but the Anglo-Saxon invasions had separated the British Church from European Christianity for centuries. 